Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I have a visitor today. He's a world traveler and he just made his way here from Pennsylvania. He was visiting another famous YouTuber, Rick Mamana. And uh, his name is Chef Antonio Bourbon and uh, he's a recipe hunter. So Rick said that he wanted to head out to California and visit out there. So uh, I've been out showing him around and he's hungry. So we're gonna go inside and make something to eat. The chef is a little cranky because he wanted a drink and I don't have anything on hand at the moment. So I told him, just let me make something in my toaster oven for you to eat, then you can walk down to the pub. And he says, toast? I come all the way to California and you're going to make me toast? I said, no. Steak and potatoes. Just watch and learn, buddy. So I've already uh, rubbed these uh, potatoes with some olive oil and I'm just going to Put a little kosher salt on the outside of them. And I probably better poke a hole in each one of them so they don't blow up. I haven't had one explode in the toaster oven yet, but it's happened in the regular oven before, so better do that because it makes a big mess. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just gonna put these potatoes directly on the rack and let these cook until they're soft. Probably about 45 minutes to an hour. While those potatoes are baking, I'm gonna season my steak here. This is a bone-in New York steak. I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of kosher salt and then a little bit of uh, Java and spice rub from my neighbor, the, the Sonoma Spice Queen. So uh, I'm just kinda season this with on both sides. Her spices have very little salt, if any, so uh, it's nice. You can use your own salt and you don't uh, have over salted meat that way. You know what? I just thought, got my hand dirty, so uh, I better wash my hand before I uh, stick it back in the seasoning. So I'll go ahead and salt that. I'm going to wash my hand and I'll season the rest of that. It's been about 55 minutes, so I think these taters are probably about done. Oh yeah, they seem nice and soft. We'll get those out and get the steak in there. Chef Bourbon is getting impatient over there. Okay, I'm actually going to broil this steak. People ask why I don't use the broiler very often, and it's real simple. Usually my steaks are too thick to fit underneath it. There's not a whole lot of clearance, but that one fits perfectly, so I'll just let it cook on that side for a few minutes and then flip it over. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna check this thing. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna turn it over now. Oh yeah. That bone doesn't wanna clear that too good. That's a tight squeeze. Okay, there we go. It's been about nine minutes total, and the internal temperature of that steak is about 135 degrees. So I'm gonna get it out of there. I steamed some veggies to go with this, but let's see if this steak passes Antonio's approval. Oh, he fell over. You can't see it. Oh no. <laughs> well, gosh, that looks pretty good to me kind of a medium steak. Let me taste it. And then we'll revive him and let him have a look here. Well, he told me that he's pretty amazed. He didn't think I could cook a good steak in the toaster oven. So he is pretty happy. He said he's gonna eat that, then he's gonna go out to the pub and get hammered. <laughs> Who knows where he will show up next. Stay tuned to see which YouTuber he shows up with next. Thanks for watching you guys, and I'll talk to you next time. 